Hi, welcome to our weekly devotional series based on the book Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Today is Wednesday, July 7th, and I invite you to hear these words as if Jesus is speaking directly to you. Trust me in all your thoughts. I know that some thoughts are unconscious or semi-conscious, and I do not hold you responsible for those. But you can direct conscious thoughts much more than you may realize. Practice thinking in certain ways, trusting me, thanking me, and those thoughts become more natural. Reject negative or sinful thoughts as soon as you become aware of them. Don't try to hide them from me. Confess them and leave them with me. Go on your way lightheartedly. This method of controlling your thoughts will keep your mind in my presence and your feet on the path of peace. And our scripture readings from today come from Psalm 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And from 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And from Luke chapter 1, verse 79. To give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Have you ever really stopped to think how powerful our thoughts are? Our thoughts can create our reality. If you find yourself having thoughts that say, I can't, and it's impossible, well then the chances are you'll have very little success in whatever you're trying to accomplish. But if we think thoughts that say, God can do great things through me, and with God all things are possible, you will probably find that your reality includes many successful endeavors. Our conscious thoughts define how we see things, whether the glass is half empty or half full, whether we feel the presence of Jesus in our thoughts, or whether we feel like we're going through life alone. You see, we feel more peaceful when we feel Jesus with us. And when our thoughts tell us that Jesus is working for us, that he's gone ahead of us to prepare the way, and that he stands beside us in all that we do. Peace comes when our thoughts lead us there into Jesus' presence. So the next time you find yourself with defeating thoughts, turn them around and find yourself thinking victorious thoughts so that your feet may be planted on the path of peace and your heart may be rooted in that peace. Be aware that our thoughts can create our reality. Our thoughts can bring us peace or can take us away from the peace that we are seeking. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, help us to see where our thoughts lead us. Help us to train our thoughts that, so that your presence and your peace become the reality of our lives. And may that reality of your presence and peace be what carries us through all our days. Amen. Until next time, be well, stay safe, and keep your thoughts rooted in Jesus, 
and his peace.